I am Isaac, I'm from Houston, I'm 21 years old, and this is Financial Audit. Oh, 21, okay. Uh, on the younger side of the show, typically. So, what do you do for a living right now? Usually that could be college, that could be... Yeah, so right now I'm going full-time college. Full-time college, yeah. okay. What are you studying? Uh, biotechnology. Where are you going? Uh, okay, cool. And what, some, what year are you in? Uh, I'm a fourth year, but with credits, I'm a junior. So I'm going to finish in five years. Okay, five years. I know a lot of people that did that. What is it taking you five years? Um, So basically in COVID, I kind of got, I fell behind. I wasn't really the best at online classes. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I basically did not pass most of my classes during COVID. Yeah. So I had to, well, now I'm making up for it now. So what's going on with your finances? Oh, uh, so finances, uh. I put all of my school loan, well, all of the school money that I was going to pay on my credit cards instead of getting the- You put them on your credit cards? Yeah, on my credit cards. Credit cards are like 30%. Yeah, I didn't know better back then. So. When? Um. Well, I thought I was going to be able to pay you credit cards. You're 21. You look older. I thought you were going to pay them off. With what? With what? Um, I had a job. I was getting paid well. What were you doing? When? When? Um, when? I was, uh, when was this? When? This is like 2022. Okay. Yeah. So I was working as a sales rep at a tile store. Uh, I was making around three, four grand a month. Um, and you were going to school full time. Yeah. And I was going to school full time. So why are you not doing that anymore? Putting um, this on credit cards? Yeah. That's insane. Student loans, federal student loans, like on the bad side, start getting to 8%. Yeah. The credit cards are like 30%. It's not this Apple card, is it? It's that Apple card. In Apple card, you put student loans on Tim Apple's credit card. Yeah, unfortunately. I've never seen that. Never even heard of someone doing that. I'm sure people have. I mean, there's a lot of stupid things that are done. Um, wow. So, all of your tuition you've been putting on this card since 2021. Mm-hmm. When did you learn that's a thing to not f do? Um. So the problem was that I wasn't gonna put it on my student on my credit cards, but then I didn't get FAFSA anymore. Yeah, but even private student loans at their worst, not at the worst, but are they are typically pretty bad. They're still like fifteen percent, thirty percent on credit cards. Plus, it's showing on your credit. Not that I even give a about your credit at this point, because it's not too bad. What? What is it? Six ninety. Surprised, but even still, it's going against it because it's showing that your utilization is so high. Where oh, private yeah. student loans wouldn't show that. I haven't missed a payment. So. Why'd you choose thirty percent over fifteen percent? Um, it wasn't a decision. I just didn't have the money because I left that job to focus on my classes so I could pass and finish college. And then once I left that job, obviously, I wasn't making the same. I wasn't Why'd making you anybody. Because um, I was going towards focusing on school more than focusing on works right, more than I school. Transcripts in here. Let me get them. Biochemical engineering. Is that what you said? Biotechnology. Biotechnology. I mean, your commute, your total GPA across everything is 2.0. Yeah, I just got a 2.0 last semester. Got up to a 2.0? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, with the COVID 24. classes that I failed and then a couple other classes. What are your that grades right now this semester? Right now I got four A's, two B's, and one C. Okay. What's the C in? Um, CGMP, Current Good Manufacturing Practices. That shouldn't be that hard. Oh, Come you on. would be surprised. I guess I would be surprised. But we all have different things we're interested in. These science classes, I would probably fail at because I find it boring as f NCR, what's that? Uh, NCR, I think that believes great. Is that like no credit out? received? Yeah. Why? Uh, which class is that? Oh, this is twenty twenty. This is twenty twenty. Oh yeah, all of, of the, those should be NCR. You earned three credits out of the attempted thirteen. Yeah, I passed one class in COVID. Because of online classes. Yeah. But you just kept going. I didn't and know any better. The bills? I wasn't paying. paying. I bills, had FAFSA, boring. yeah. Uh. So, but now that I'm paying for my classes, um, I'm Wait, making so sure I Wait, so do you pass. have federal student loans? I'm 
I applied for federal federal student loans this year, and I got apply I got accepted for next year with zero family contribution. Next semester, attempted twelve credits, earned six. The semester after that, attempted thirteen credits, gained zero. Attempted nine credits, obtained six. Attempted seven credits, earned four. Uh, buddy, how? You you just keep this up every semester. No, it gets better. I'm a reformed failing. Attempted 14 credits, earned 11. Yeah, but every semester, there's still one that you just... You're just missing credits. Yeah, that D, the introduction to biotechnology. That's what you're trying... Biotechnology is what you're trying to do and you failed the intro... Intro class? The, the intro supposed to be easy. It wasn't easy. Maybe it's... You're not fit for that. I was passing that class up until the final. All that matters is the final grade. I don't give a shit. What the f I don't care. Yeah, but you can save up a shit ton of money if you go blow it. You're poor. You're right. But next semester after that, one semester ago, two semesters ago, attempted 15, earned 12 because we got an F in fundamentals of chemistry. Chemistry is my enemy. You know how you say we're interested in different things. I, I hate chemistry not as well. In chemistry. But even still, it, dude, last semester still uh, attempted 17, earned 14. I had. Uh, it's gonna sound funny because it's probably just like from the outside looking at one of your failures I had one college class that I did not pass because I got a D of course you have to get a C yeah and it was music history two and to everyone else they're probably like how do you they're thinking of like music appreciation but I mean that that was like I could not obtain the information in that. I was a music major. So I get failing a class, missing a credit and having to redo it. I redid it and then I passed it. Minimum, once a semester, you fail a class. Minimum. I'm not the best at school, but I'm trying. Yeah, I know, but you're putting it on a credit card. It would be different if this was like Pell Grant, if your parents were paying for it, being a little less focused in. Yeah. What's a semester cost? What's a credit hour cost? You're trying to do 15. I think it, like three, one class is like 1250. So expensive. So expensive. Dude, ACC is like. Oh, ACC is like 300 a class. I'm at the final stretch, so I have one year left. Maybe. So, Based on your track record, I am not know. Well, yeah, maybe I got one year left. Um, and so I can't Strong take maybe. any more classes from outside after this semester. Why did you pick this major? Um, it was interesting to me. And in what ways? I mean, I th like the I job, the career, the what, or just what you're studying? Like, yeah, what, like what when f in graduating high school, I didn't know what I really wanted to do. I just knew that I kind of was interested in biology, and doing the research on the majors that I could have chose. I saw biotechnology as one of them. So, what's your career path? Oh, what do you mean my career path? What's your career path? What do you mean? What do you mean? What's so, your career path? So I've gotten like three jobs so far and they were all in sales. No, so what is... What are you trying to do with this degree? I'm trying to get a job in biotechnology sales. To biotechnology sales? Yeah. What do you typically sell in biotechnology? Um, So you can sell anything from like medicine to uh, s surgical equipment and stuff like that. That'd be cool. Um. When you're ready for it, I can gift you a certification for sales that can boost your resume from course careers. They're really good. Sounds um, good. If you graduate. <laughs> and for what it's worth, every semester you are getting better. Yeah. A 2.0, that one hurts. 2.0 is good, though, because you need 2.0 to Shut the graduate. Shut the fuck up. Just shut up. It is not good. You're getting past the finish line. It's not good. Don't use the word good. Hey, finishing is what matters. Yes, but don't use the word good. Better than under a 2.0. Yes. No, sh the number two is higher than less than two. I want to take a moment and chat about something that hits home for every entrepreneur. Cash flow management. Today's sponsor, NetSuite by Oracle, is here to help with this. Think about it. The less money you spend on lackluster business systems, the bigger your profits will be. Enter NetSuite. 
is the industry leader when it comes to financial systems, easily transforming your entire business flow into one sleek, efficient machine. For the longest time, my systems were looking like absolute death. It was just a jumbled mess of numbers and a headache. But NetSuite, it saved me, merging all of my needs from accounting to HR under one digital roof. Plus, it trimmed my IT expenses. And why? Because it's cloud-based. That means zero hardware hassles and zero upkeep chaos. When I combined my assorted business tools into NetSuite, it was like hitting the fast forward button on efficiency. The maintenance costs and time, they didn't just decrease, they plummeted. With NetSuite, you're not just working smarter, you're turning your business into a well-oiled machine. And here's the kicker, over 37,000 businesses are using NetSuite. And they're not just getting by, they're crushing it. By popular demand, NetSuite has extended their flexible program for a few more weeks. Head to netsuite.com slash hammer. That's netsuite.com slash hammer. Or click the link in the description below. How are you making payments without a job on all these credit cards that you've maxed um, out? I do DoorDash, Uber Eats on the side. Um, get some money from my dad once in a while. Okay. Well, I mean, that's not necessarily bad, but it's like... Mm, let's go through this and see if he's enabling anything. Any bad behavior, essentially. How much do you get from your dad? Uh, it's not like a set amount. If I need some, I'll ask and he might send it. But do you need it? Because going out to eat is 10.4% of your spending. Stopping and getting miscellaneous bull that doesn't improve or help your life in any way whatsoever is an additional almost 17% of your spending. Subscriptions, 1%. Unknown shopping, almost 3%. Some other large purchases that, again, are nothing. It's about 10%. So why would you need the money? Sounds like you're spending money you don't need to be spending. And then he's bailing you out. I mean, I have to eat. How many f times do I have to hear this on the show? I'm going to... I'm, there is... I'm going to... Oh, I swear. If I keep hearing this, I'm going to be the one that causes... This is absolutely ridiculous. You need to eat. And have you heard of this great new thing called a sandwich, called a f apple, like two pieces of bread, cheese, meat, mayonnaise. We're both white. We love mayonnaise. That's how it works. It's so much cheaper than going out to eat. I have to eat. You don't have to go to McDonald's or whatever. I don't always go to McDonald's. That's a that's an example. You do not have to go out to eat to eat for your daily caloric intake. Do you? No. Okay. So why say I have to eat when it comes to money that you're spending that you're getting from your dad because he thinks you're not able to survive but you're spending it on you bullshit I've been doing grocery shopping I mean wh what is that graph based on you're spending which, which I said statement? it was your spending where's the grocery shopping I don't see any grocery shopping in here there's no grocery shopping in there where do you grocery shop from H-E-B Target uh, Walmart may have seen a bit of Walmart and Target. That's usually unknown because you don't really know what it is. But even if that's all grocery shopping, it was fifty five dollars versus you're almost three hundred dollars eating out. How much you've made from DoorDash just last month? Oh, I haven't DoorDash this month at all. Uh, you said you Uber Eats. Then is that the other one you do? Yeah, I haven't done any of those because I've injured my knee playing basketball. Okay. You can't switch to just Uber? What do you mean Uber? Why not Uber then? Instead of Uber Eat, why not Uber Humans? Instead oh, my Uber car food? doesn't qualify for Uber. Oh, what do you have? Corolla, 2012. So you're telling me you can't get up and walk into that side? How'd you get to the seat today? I didn't see you walk in. How'd you get to the seat? Uh, I drove here. How'd you get to this f***ing seat from the entrance of this building? I walked in. And you can't walk to someone's doorstep? Why would I need to walk to someone's doorstep? You said you haven't done Uber Eats because you injured your knee. Mm -hmm. Explain! Yeah, my knee hurts when I drive. Drive? Yeah. Okay, so your girlfriend drove you here today? No, I drove here. Three hours from Houston. Buddy, what the f*** am I dealing with? I mean, 
Are are you? And then you're so driving. So my knees three, got him uh, better uh, this uh, week. Uh, and then you're driving three hours back, right? Yeah. Okay, then f off. If you can drive six hours in one day, you can Uber eat for a couple hours in one day. Hundred percent. So why the f haven't you? I'm you also just lied taking to me. 26 you credits this semester. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You can't do that. Can't do it at one college. No, no, no. You can't do that. I've seen your transcripts. You can't take 15 and pass your classes. I'm not failing any of them. Yet. Remember Yet. the last ones came down to the final. It sounds like you're not a test taker. It sounds like you may be a homework person. That's more like me. I can do the homework, but it sounds like you suck in the test environment. Also like me. I hate school. I've, I've learned a few new techniques this semester, so I'm dialed in. What? Um, no techniques to drive, apparently. What? Spending more time to study. That's a, a technique. Maybe with a little bit of but it helps. Are you prescribed? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love it when it's prescribed. Oh, careful, buddy. Very careful. Just don't want to see you getting any dependence of any kind. Oh, no. I hate taking it, but it it's well, useful it's to do things. what you just said. It's, it's useful to do things that you don't want to do, like study for 26 credits of classes. I don't. You're not going to. Like, okay. It's bold of you to do. So that's how you're graduating in one year. You're doubling up every semester. Where's this other college you're going for? And how are you paying Lone for that? Lone Star. And how are you paying for that? Oh, uh, I haven't paid for it yet. And you're in the classes right now? Mm-hmm. Oh, f how are, are you paying going to pay for it? How much do you owe? I haven't. So I owe 1600 to Lone Star. And how are you going to pay it? I haven't figured that out yet. Oh, my f What are you? And yet you refuse to drive because you got a boo-boo on your knee. It's my meniscus. It's not a little boo-boo. Okay, but you drove six hours today, driving six hours. It's gotten better in the past week. Wonderful. But I've had three, pe three tests in the past week as well. Okay, cool. Drive. It's gotten better. Drive. If you can drive six hours here because you wanted to be on the show, drive. I'll start driving. Proud of you. Thank you. What's your car again? Corolla 2012. Why doesn't it qualify for Uber? It's it's above, I believe it's above the miles. What's the miles? I don't know. Or it's You don't under, know how many miles you have? Oh, the miles on my car? Yes. Yeah, it's 185,000. What's up there? It's a Corolla. It's a Toyota Corolla, though. Yeah. It's interesting. I'm driven, I've, I've been in the back of some Uber, so I don't... Okay, so this Apple card. What would you give yourself a score? Zero to ten, zero being the worst finances, ten being best finances. I've been waiting forever to be able to give this score on the show, so go ahead. What I'll do you think it is? Give myself a five. Okay. I don't want to just bully you into the ground, mm -hmm. but you've seen this show before. Mm -hmm. You're a fan of the show. You're so excited. You sat there. You're like, wow, I'm actually seeing this set in person. I've seen it on. How the f do you think you're a five? Unless you're like objectively a stupid person. I don't think you are, and I don't want to just be insulting. How do you think you're a five? I would like to just know, because in there is no way to, in any context of ever watching the show, would anyone consider themselves in your position to be a five? So why do you think you're a five? Uh, let me change my answer real quick. I change it to a zero. Why did you say five? I was being generous. Well, okay. Okay. I get it. People get nervous on the camera. First time on camera, first time on lights. This conversation works if we accept our flaws and our failures. 100%. I dig through your mess. I let you know how bad it is. It's the intro part of Kitchen Nightmares where I go through the kitchen, have a couple of vomits. Don't bull me. If you're going to bullshit me, we're not going to get anywhere. No more being generous. I mean, it's, it's not even about being generous. You're just like not, that's just like, the answer of five is just not living in reality. Like, I need you to pull you into reality. We need to agree on basic reality if we're going to fucking get anywhere. If you want your hammer financial score, it's free in the description below. Also, I get to be Caleb Springer. I get to beat him up for being a little...
and go wild in the title and thumbnail. But you be encouraging in the uh, comments below. And if you want to be on the show, you can apply. Uh, if you're brave enough like this man to come in here and say he's a five out of ten. Kill me. Okay. So Apple Card. $14,715 is owed and 78 cents. The minimum monthly payment of $548? I, I'm sorry. I asked you and I'm I kind of forgot. How are you paying for this? Oh, you said, well, I do Uber Eats and stuff on the side, but you haven't, Ben. Yeah, not this So month. how the f*** are you paying for this? That's an insane minimum monthly payment for someone that doesn't make any money. How the f*** are you possibly paying for that? How the f***? Yeah, this, this month I paid for it, and now to pay for it for this month, next month, I'm going to have to do a lot of Uber Eats. Yeah, but your knee has boo-boo. My knee boo-boo is better. Okay. When did you hurt yourself? Uh, it's been a month. You haven't driven for a full month? No, I'd say like two, three weeks. In the past week and a half, I started driving again. Week and a half is a long time. Why haven't you driven any Uber Eats? I've had three tests in the past week. Okay, yeah. You said, so your second excuse was, after you made your first excuse and it obviously didn't check out, was that because you were having so many credit hours. Okay, you have so many credit hours. We're trying to get close to graduation. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Well, fine. Okay, fine. If that's the case, then we can't work. How are we paying for a $548 minimum monthly payment? With Uber Eats and DoorDash. But you just said you can't because you're taking 26 billion credit hours. Yeah, if I'm not injured, I can do the both. Oh, your excuses do not line up. Your reasonings, you're... Okay. You're, you're one of those people. Okay. Are you a justify everything in life kind of person? No. Are you... Mm, okay. We'll see. What happened? You're a bit of a to your dad, I'll be honest. Why is that? Because... You take money from him because he thinks you need it. Now that on this Apple card, that reminder is a minimum monthly payment of $548 with a balance of almost $15,000 when we don't bring in any money because boo-boo on knee. Oh, wait, but it has, it's been working the last week and a half. Oh, but I have too many classes. Oh, but it doesn't matter. We'll start driving at some point. Maybe. Uh, so you take money from him because, uh-oh, I can't do it. Oh, poor me. Every purchase on this first line is a bullshit f you purchase. Couple of them you might be able to justify it here in a second, but most of them are you bullshit, stupid, unnecessary, dumb enablement being provided by your dad. Waterburger, Raisin Cane's, Waterburger, McDonald's, Waterburger, Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, Fat Boys Pizza, The Den, Cafe, Apple Bill, some taquitos, Vape City. Yeah, go ahead and kill yourself young while you're 21. That makes sense. Smart, good choices. Study. Okay, uh, hot chicken, and then, sorry, oh my gosh, okay, I'm coming, I'm being aggressive, I'm being aggressive. Vaping's bad. I recommend trying to quit, because it bad. Okay. Study pool. So, study pool is a website where you get help on your assignments. As in cheating? No. Just As in your provide. assignments go out and it's kind of crowd worked on, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's just they give you assistance. How? I would never cheat. How? By helping you do the assignment. How? By giving you guidance. Explain it, dude. I just explained it. You're giving the most vague answers. What kind of guidance? What do they do? There's a question. There's a chemistry so question. There's that a, you're trying there's to figure out what on do there. they do. There's tutors on there that you pay. And they, you know, help you with the assignment by providing like an outline. Can you give me an example though? There's like a question, a chemistry question. Give me, what are they helping? How are they helping you? So if let's say there's a writing assignment. Yeah. Um, you give them the writing assignment and they send back an example of what you could write. Right. An example of what you could write. Yeah. You would never cheat. Oh, no. That's bad. It bad. You're trying to... So, this is why you're... You're trying to skate your way. You're just trying to... Fucking, how are you going to survive in the real world? I'm so confused. Tutoring, totally down for it. Absolutely. <laughs> why are you being a little... About it, by the way. Why are you being a little... Like, it's very clear that they just give you the answer. 
And that's what you just said. Why are you being like, oh, no, cheating's bad? Are you trying to, like, look good? Are you trying to, like, impress someone? No. Because your girlfriend's over there? and you're hoping... What? Like, obviously, you are cheating. You are cheating. Why not just own up to it? Instead of being a little... It's just a little bit of help. You are a brick wall. What are you even taking the for? People are doing the answers for you. What? They are on what? I don't like you. Why not? No, I don't like you. This is like one of the first times in the show where I just do not like the person in front of me. I'm sorry. I don't like really? you. Really? No, uh, you're a bit of a douche. My bad. Yeah. I'm sorry because that, that's rude. But I'm also kind of filterless. That's fine. I... I mean, you're it's cheating, you want to admit to cheating, you're legally taking it, but you're like, oh, no, it's legal. Making excuses that don't make any sense and have to change constantly. So it's like, what the f*** am I talking to you? What kind of creature is in front of me right now? Just your... I probably can't even upload this because I look like a piece of sh but I do not like you. You're not a good person. Why not? In the context of this, I have nothing to... Uh, think you're a decent person in any way whatsoever what makes me such a terrible you're cheating, person dude you're cheating but you're like lying about cheating same with the drug thing same with every excuse you're making you have to deflect to another excuse the moment i call it out i mean why does there that hasn't make been me a, a terrible because i haven't seen a good quality in you only negative 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 i mean you're kind of only looking at the negatives of me yeah, but you could also just own up to sh For I've had many douchey things in the past, probably coming off like a douche right now. I own up to that sh and I try to improve my life. You're just being a defensive little brick wall. And this Chegg, it's, is it the Chegg order? Is it pretty similar? That's where you actually get help on questions. Noah's telling me it's cheating. No, it's not cheating. Well, it, I've personally never used it, but... Uh, his friends in college a few years ago used it to cheat. So, do I trust the person who's lied like 50 times this episode or the person who doesn't lie to me? I don't know. The commenters will decide. <laughs> oh, if this is uploaded. <sighs> okay. All right. Wingstop, cheating, cheating, Netflix, taquitos, NBS facts. What's that? NBS facts? NBS facts, yes. I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh. How do you spend money and you make no money? You don't even know what it is. It's $30. NBS facts. I have no idea. Oh, kill me now. McDonald's, cheating, cheating. Microsoft, cheating. Using Chegg itself is not illegal or against school policy. However, using Chegg to cheat or commit academic dishonesty, dishonesty is a serious offense and can lead to severe consequences such as failing the assignment and expulsion from school. Suck if you put everything on a credit card just to be expelled. And then we have, oh, oh, good. Oh, lovely. Interest charge this month, $310. Hmm. Yeah, I need some debt consolidation for sure. No, is that really what you think? I, I know. You, Wouldn't moving it to a less APR loan be better? Oh, my God. Okay. No? I'm wrong. No, no, no. It's it's not about that. If you were that ignorant, it's it's different. You, you've you told me you were so excited because you've seen. Cl Tell me what you've seen of this show before. Please give me your experience and extensiveness of what you've consumed from this show. Um, I've watched the hour-long YouTube videos. And How many? I've seen some. How many? Like two, Ish. three, and then I've seen mostly clips. Okay, so mostly the short form. Yeah. The short form don't go into details. The short form editor takes that to uh, just make the best shorts possible. So it's fair enough. Okay, then I'm not going to freak out on you for this. Because I was like, there's no way if you've seen a lot of our content that you would think consolidation is a good thing. Two, three videos, fair enough. And shorts doesn't go into it. Consolidation. Um, my hatred of you has gone away. Thank God. I just, I had anger there for a second. I'm someone who gets angry, and I just need to take a moment, and I took a moment. 
And I apologize if I came off in a bad way. No, so I don't want you to feel like. Okay, so what typically happens in consolidation for someone in your situation who clearly has behavioral issues in terms of spending and not being able to manage that in any way? You consolidate it. It gets put onto a consolidation of some kind, and then you have to pay that off. And then these balances go to zero. And if you don't cut up these cards closely, it counts, which I don't think you would do um, because you're just not educated on the subject, which is totally fine. What happens historically, including people who've come on the show multiple times, is after the balances get wiped, uh oh, just like this card where you're pretty much at the credit line, you're not at the credit line anymore, so you just the spending goes all the way back up. Then all of a sudden you have double the amount of debt because you have the debt that's consolidated that was the previous debt, and then you built up the new debt, and it puts you in a double position. You already can't pay your bills. Uh, what are you gonna do when you have double the debt? Consolidation for someone in your situation who does not address the root causes, and the root causes for you is behavioral issues when it comes to your spending and managing money and just your, in general, understanding of how to manage a budget, everything like that. It's It will damage you. A debt consolidation will damage you. It will put you in a worse position than where you are now. Thoughts? Um, I didn't know that, but that does make sense that if my credit cards did get wiped to zero, that... He might get filled up again. But I think getting rid of that 30% APR, like you said, is pretty important. But Yes. No, that's good. But again, what is more damaging in the end? Um, and I think it's if you build up that 30% debt again, but now you have all this extra debt on the side. That is going to be more damaging than just tackling this. What I would personally do, you're not a credit card person. Actually, you're a student, so it's perfect. I would use the Fizz card for you. It works as a debit card, but it acts like a, or it acts like a debit card, but it's like in the system as a credit card. Use that. Close these accounts. Chop up the cards. Never use them again. They're terrible for you. You've abused the system. They're bending you over. There is nothing good and beneficial from you having these. Sure, you're closer to a 700 than I would ever think in your credit score. Like, how that happened? No idea. But you're getting... 100%. I do not want you to consolidate. And if you do, the only time you ever do... Is because you've demonstrated you've changed your behavior and you close these and cut them up. So what if I didn't close them? I just stopped using them. No. No, that doesn't work. Uh, because I don't think you will have to address your overall behavior. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Missed payment. Missed payment? Missed payment. I don't have any missed payments. Uh, late fee late fee we're late congratulations take a look welcome to your own finances bank of america everyone's favorite balance nine thousand one hundred eighty eight dollars ninety two cents you didn't know you legitimately didn't know i think i okay i remember this uh i searched it up it just happened uh, I searched it up. I was like, late fee. Why do I have a late fee? Because I paid it. Uh, I think I paid it like a day late. And I believe when Why I researched it. Why did it late? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I think I searched it up. And from what I searched up, I saw that there's a difference from a missed payment and a late payment. Um, I don't know if that's true. Okay. Well, a missed payment is if you just never f paid it. You did. Yeah. You paid, but you're late. Why are you late? You can't manage this. You are not a credit card person. You do not know how to manage finances. You do not know how to manage debt. Yeah. Consolidation is not going to help you in any way whatsoever. How do you have a late fee? Why are you not making your payments on time? That would be the one time that I would ever have a late fee. All it takes is one. And guess what? It's the most recent. So we're here. I'm not going to go based off of if you were successful in the past five years. Yeah. Well, all that matters is what you're doing now. I can f up multiple years ago, and it's okay as long as what I am doing now is better and what I'm trying to do in the future is better. You can be a perfect person five years ago, but if what you're doing now is bad and what you're planning to do in the future is bad, you're a bad person. In this case, bad with finances. Not necessarily a bad person, but bad with finances. So I don't give a shit. You never missed a payment. You missed a payment. You were late on a payment. Yeah, it's not going to happen ever again. I don't know that. I don't know that this just happened. What encourages me? You don't make any money. And you have all these minimum monthly payments. 548 on the Apple credit card on this Bank of America, 294. How are you making that? You're not driving. 
Dad? Daddy? No, not Is that daddy. who's covering this? Girlfriend? No, that's she really not you? girlfriend. How are you taking her out on dates? Um, With my DoorDash money? Not this month. This month is the exception. No that's way. why I signed up for the to account. Da it should be going... $190... No, well, no. $164 of interest. $190 of interest is... uh. Amazon card. No interest charge because you paid the balance off on this one. Okay. Thank... $190 balance. Well, we can consider that starting to pay off. Hilton parking. What park? Oh, Hilton parking. That's uh, on our campus. Uh, you don't have a parking pass? Uh, there's two campuses. Uh, I had to go to the main campus to take a test okay. and I had to pay for parking there. Amazon. Oh, cheating. More cheating. Good. Community Medical Center. A couple of charges there as well. Yeah, that would be for my knee. Yeah. And then on this card, there was nothing, so it doesn't matter. Just a quick pause in your Monday viewing experience to give you $20. Usually when you sign up for Acorns, you get $5 for signing up. But I negotiated for this month only with Acorns that you get $20 if you sign up using my link in the description below. It's literally free money and a great way to start investing. So start your Monday off in a great way and sign up using that link in the description below. Any other debts? That would be all. Well... Other than what I owe school right now. Oh, f what? Oh, f somewhere in here. All right, let me find it. What about your car? What's up with your car? You don't owe anything on it? Mm -mm. That's good. What happens if it breaks? Do you have anything in savings? I know mm -hmm. the answer to that. Yeah, exactly. So what happens if the the the, the how did you get the car in the first place? Oh, uh, it was my dad's old car. <laughs> okay, yeah. Daddy, coming in. What did he get you? Your new car. Hmm? Would he get you your new car if this were to break down? Oh, no. Have a major, what happens if there's a major repair? Oh, uh, I would have to figure it out. And how would you figure it out? You're maxed up on all your debts. Um, probably take the bus for a couple months. And your income source would be zero. There's a Costco opening right next to my house. I'm planning on getting a job there. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Spring 2024. That's this semester, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so... $8,604? Yeah. What's this additional spring 2024, 1,130? What's that? Is that extra? Um, let Take me a see look. this one. Take a little peek. A little peek, peek. This is... This is... Uh, so you owe to both. Yeah. Well, what do you think of the clips versus being here in person there, Mr. Isaac? Uh, it's a lot more interactive. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> It's a good answer. <laughs> it's funny. You watched the onboarding video though, right? Uh, the one, the clip of you before you... The 10-minute oh. onboarding video we sent you? I don't think so. Why? Was that after I got the... When you get accepted to come on the show, we send you an onboarding video to watch that prepares you for the full experience. You didn't watch that? Mm-mm. Why? I didn't see it. Do you not check emails? No, I do check emails. I was replying back to Noah. Yeah, we just checked. You open the email. We have, we're able to track that. You just didn't watch it? Yeah, I guess I didn't see it. His fault. Not ours. $8,604.14. I'm not surprised that you don't read the emails based on this conversation. Okay. So you owe $8,604 tuition and then to... Additional one thousand one hundred thirty dollars, and you were just putting it in off, hoping that somehow it got paid. What was your plan before this conversation to pay that for the school for either right of now? them? Yes, that's what we're talking about. No idea. You didn't have an idea, so you were just you were just like F it. I you mean, had no plan. You didn't even have like an inkling of a plan, a start of a plan, a little beginning building. Uh, oh, so man. beginning of the semester, I had a job uh, as a solar salesman, and that company closed down. So now I have no idea. I've been looking for another job, but haven't had any luck. Are you willing to be on mic for a second? On mic, not on camera, just on microphone? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, what you want me to like, about what? No, I just want to ask you a question real quick. Can we get on our mic real quick? All right, Miss Girlfriend. Um, well done, by the way. Thank you. Uh, this well, how long have you guys been dating 
Um, it's about to be two years. Is this? This is not how he was when we first started dating because he started taking more classes. So he started to focus on school more, which in my opinion is a good thing. But he also needs to find a way to get income. Do you know that this dude, you've listened to this conversation. Is this someone? No, I didn't know how much debt he was in. He would never tell me because he knows I would freak out. It's not even just the debt, just the way he's talking, his mentality on this. I think he's nervous. He's not usually like this. Fair enough. I think that happens to a lot of people on the show. And then people are like, oh, he gets defensive when we argue. So I think that's why he was defensive at the beginning. Wait, I'm sorry. What? He gets really defensive if we argue. Oh. So I think that's what he was. Ju- he was like just doing with you. You're a defensive little boy. Okay. Great. I'm working on it. Are you? Or is that just being defensive? Okay. Um, is this a man you've considered potentially marrying? I know we're young, but. Um, yes. Would you really marry the creature that I just talked to you in terms of... Not right now with his situation right now. Not to put you on blast, buddy, but also I'm putting you on blast, buddy. Your mentality around this, like... I couldn't... I mean, imagine a future future partnership with someone that are saying the things that you're saying. The, The way that you defended things. The way that you spend money while taking money from your dad. And the way you don't work, your excuses, your defensiveness. You didn't even have a plan. You're trying to double down on school, but you don't even have a plan, a start of a plan. Well, I had a plan. job in the beginning of the semester. I don't know if this so is that was back plan? to getting defensive, but I would make good money every time I made a sale. Um, this is interesting, though. See, you're you're hearing you're hearing it here from the girlfriend. And for Mr. Isaac over here, people are like, oh, people on the show, they have to be fake. How do people act like this? Natural human instincts come out when they're on this, I, I swear. It's an intense conversation, so. Where'd you apply through? Apply through what? Yeah, where'd you, like, apply? Where'd you find the, like, link to apply? Instagram. Instagram. Okay, you applied through Instagram. Cool. So, what is your take on all this debt? This is scary. How's this guy paying for school? What is your thoughts on all this? I actually have no idea. His dad doesn't really give him money. I think he came off like his dad gives him a lot of money, but he's not like his financial support at all. Hmm. Um, I think he is just taking it like one step at a time because at first he had a job that was full time and that was going well. But then he started to focus on school and then he found the solar sales job and that one was good because like it was on his own time but the company was not that good and then they ended up closing down and i mean Papa now he's not doing anything 600 last month no that's not life changing but i mean come on if we looked at the money that he was spending on is that essentially just paid for that he had just enabled that bad behavior So the main reason that I put my tuition on my credit card was I thought my dad would help me pay it off. Why? What gave you that thought? So the thought was in 2021, uh, we bought a house and... Who's we? Me. Well, my dad bought a house and my dad was like, I need help with the down payment. Oh. And he was like, how much money do you have? What is this family? Oh no. He was like, how much money do you have? And I had around 15,000. Oh! Yeah. And so, you know, it's my dad. I don't really, I don't really mind giving him the money. So I thought. There's a loan or a gift? Well, I didn't really, you know, discuss all that with my dad. Oh, it was you just like. Discuss that with your dad. How old were you? I was 18. Oh. Yeah. So I thought, you know, since I gave all my money to the house, I thought that it would be reciprocated on the, you know, school payments, but it wasn't. Have you brought this up at all? Um, I tried, but it always gets like deflected. Tell me, and no, like, what do you mean? Give me an example. I mean, he says like I pay for all this. I pay for oh, the monthly f- payment. Monthly payment on what? Of like the house, like the mortgage payment. Yeah, it's his house. Yeah, and like, well, I mean, do you live there? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's he's f- gaining equity in the house. You're not. I don't. I have no sympathy for him in that. That doesn't make. Yeah, any and sense. then he says like, oh, I pay for like. You know, the gas, the electricity, the groceries and stuff like that. Okay, so you're rent free. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure, that helps a little, but $15,000. Oh, 
So let's say you're paying $300 a month for utilities, you know? Or $15,000, sorry, not $1,500, right? Yeah. 300 for utilities. I mean, that's 50 months, also known as four years. Have you lived there for free for four years yet? Well, actually, maybe. 18, 18 to now. Well, three years. Yeah. So he technically might be even, but also people stay at home for college all the time. It feels like he's just kind of, I don't know. I would feel, okay, I'll just say me because technically gave him the money. There's no contract. So blah, 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 legal, legal, legal. Morally, which morals are all subjective. If I took the money from my kid for a down payment on a house, I would want to pay that back. I would want to pay that back. So that's just my morals though morals are subjective maybe he doesn't give it maybe he truly believes that he is paying you back through living there for free even though a lot of people live at home through college for free so but either way maybe he genuinely feels that way that's kind of um essentially just view it like you gave it as a gift and you'll never get it back yeah i've kind of parted ways with that money already and it was two years ago though that you started putting this on a credit card. So at that point, you thought he that would. I would be getting some assistance. When was the first time dad. you brought it up to your dad? Um. So the first time when I got my financial my my my, uh, my financial aid cut uh, was because I was under a GPA of two because I was working at the same time. So when I quit my job, I didn't have any way to pay for the classes. But at that point, I didn't have my 15k in savings either. So and then I asked him. And I believe it was around two and a half, three K that I had to pay uh, for those classes. And I believe he sent me like a thousand or well, he didn't send me all of it, basically. And ever since then, I've been slowly trying to, you know, make money paid off. Mm -hmm. um, just going back and forth between grinding with school, grinding with work and paying off my credit cards. I am hating you a little less as the conversation goes on. So it's a win. Uh no puts my producer put some notes in here just in case I miss things every once in a while. And uh he's been referring to you throughout this episode as daddy's little boy. But oh, no. but but I think after that last point, which is a very important thing, you gave so much more money than most people have at 18 towards a down payment on a house. I personally think he owes you. So uh, he just deleted it. Coward. Uh, caption so. has been changed <laughs> uh so yeah that sucks and yeah. i think he should help personally uh well not necessarily help with that but i would like to see him give something back even even if it's just a few thousand dollars which maybe he's done i mean he gave you 600 bucks last month how often how frequent is that um it's not really often i'm kind of shy of asking because i do get the pushback i do get the we'll see I do get the, I'll look into it and tell you know. me about mom. Um, mom is in Philadelphia, but she doesn't want to support it at all. Um, I got two siblings. Okay. Uh, sh they're not like, just wondering, I'd it's say not like, like we're better to, off than they are. Huh? Uh, it's not like she has to. I'm just, I'm just trying to get the full picture. Yeah. I think if I asked, um, I could get many from them. I just don't want to be a burden to like my mom's side. Do you think he's going to graduate college? Because he keeps failing classes every semester. This semester, he's doing really good. I don't know how. He's taking 10 classes. That's double what I'm taking. And I'm barely yeah. surviving. Well, but maybe he got the fire. Uh, he has like 10 classes left. And that's <laughs> it. Well, I mean, you do know he's spending hundreds of dollars a month cheating, right? I did not know. I actually... So. The study pool stuff, I found out about it recently, and I personally told him I'd help him with those assignments. But he paid somebody like 100 to do it for him. What do you think about the fact that he tried to say he wasn't f cheating? Like, the dude was just straight up lying to me. That's when I didn't like you. I honestly don't know what to say about it. Because I offered to help with those assignments. He said he didn't want to be a burden because I'm already, like, struggling with my classes. He just doesn't ask for help. I don't know why. Like he doesn't ask anybody. Which I I, uh, I okay, sure. I I feel sympathy towards that. I'm also not someone who's like always like wants to go to the parents or anything to help. But there's a lot of people that would help him. Uh, true, but, like not just financially but in then, a lot of aspects. But then you cheat, and then you've lost the respect in that. 
So now to be fair, to pass music history the second time in the final exam when Apple Watches were new, I had some of my notes on here and I was like, what's going on? So I did a little cheaty, cheaty, cheaty because all I cared was about getting the degree in the end. But you lied to me about it and you're all suspending. What, uh, what is it? How, how much was it? Did we, did, how much was it? On, on 34 weeks, right? Yeah. yeah. Someone told me. It's like 300 or 600 bucks or something. It it's like, it's crazy. 360 bucks. So divide that in half because I split it with my friend. Okay, even still, I'm mean, on a monthly basis as so someone who doesn't make any money. It's yeah. Like, okay. Especially with eighty-eight dollars in our checking account. <laughs> taquitos, taquitos. Stop stopping at gas stations, getting things. Oh, and Nico's, Nico's. Stop stopping at gas stations and going inside and getting some. Dude, gosh. I mean, come on. You don't have money. You sell. What the f is this? American Auto. Four hundred forty dollars. You sell too. What happened? Uh, my car got messed up. See, this is what I was saying. What happened? Uh, misfire. Cylinder two and three. How is it now? Better. Okay, <laughs> great. One and others hell out. I can't see what that one is for. It's blacked out. Ninety-eight bucks in this banking. It's just transfers. It's nothing. Oh, and New York Times and an Apple bill. Really important when we have again no money. Saving sixty dollars. We're on our way. Okay, what is this? Oh, interesting. That's okay. The so they. Peak. I actually didn't see this. They put this in uh, the pile after I already went through things, and then they put it under here because um, it's a little surprise for me. Uh, this is Robin Hood. Oh uh, no, that's. Um... Can you pull? Can you pull it up? I want to see your portfolio. I personally prefer uh, Mumu as my single stock app, but this is fine. That's too. Coinbase and. Oh, there is Robin, Robin Hood. Hood. Okay, let me see the Coinbase. Oh, f is it crypto? Yeah. Which is done well recently, but for someone that doesn't have any money, that's a f that's not way recent. To go about things. Well, what is it? Like 2021. No, no, no. Crypto's done well recently. Bitcoin's done re well recently. Oh, I haven't. I haven't looked. He got traumatized. What? Say that again. He got traumatized. So he stopped doing stocks. Oh, f f yeah. It's not about stocks, buddy, but okay. 2021, we made it to 3,666. Today we're down to $60. Dude, that could have paid for. God. Bring up, bring up the other Robin Hood. Bring up Robin. Yeah, I'd get traumatized too if I was a dumb. Um, sorry, that was mean. Uh, just I wouldn't around with that kind of. Shit. I, oh. Okay, so Robin Hood was at the max of. Oh, is that the photos? Here, let me um open the app. I keep okay, sorry. Photo app's a dangerous place, dude. <laughs> yeah, we were at six thousand six hundred dollars. Now we're down to six dollars. Low cost index funds all day, baby. Your target retirement date funds. That's a good thing that I personally do, and it's not investment advice because I can't legally give investment advice, but it's what I personally do. And tell me, I would do that instead of those single crypto bullshit you're getting. And I'm not anti crypto, I have crypto in my portfolio, but I like to have a well balanced portfolio. You went from like $10,000 total down to a couple dollars. So that's and that could have paid for it, could have paid, could have paid off. 10,000 to the 14,000. You could have completely paid off the Bank of America card. So that's, I see, I get it. Yeah, I just got ahead of myself at 18, making money, pressing buttons on my phone, so. I see, I would, I know you're trying to get through school quickly. I do respect that, <coughs> but you can't pay for it. I would rather you do half the credit hours, double the, you know, take two more years, half the credit hours, and uh, work at that job again and like cash flow as much as you can and then student loans the rest certainly not on a credit card okay i don't know how to budget you people get upset when i don't do a budget but i don't know how to budget you um because your income's weird and how to pay for things i honestly don't know so i think we, we need to talk more major life things you gave yourself a five out of ten there for a bit uh do 
you've gotten yourself into a special little hole there. The hole you've dug yourself in is so brutal. Normally I would say any hole would do, but well, the one you dug yourself into, it's like this is completely ruined. Sorry, they're laughing at an inside joke. They're not laughing at you. Okay. I'm just a little comedian. Making hee-haw hee-haws left and right. You're like halfway through. You're over halfway through the semester, aren't you, at this point? Mm-hmm. One month left. Have you signed up for classes? For Are you taking summer classes? I enrolled for one. Just one class? Mm-hmm. Okay, you're weird. Doubling up for one semester and then take one class the next semester. It's funky, but... It's so I can work more during the summer. Yeah, well, I was going to say, take summer completely off if possible and grind, grind, grind. Uh, when are these college bills due by? Because sometimes they, they, sometimes they like won't let you enroll in new classes until you've paid the balance. So if you in, try to enroll after this semester is done for the next semester, then you can't. But if you haven't paid the amount that you do, uh -huh. the amount you're due, but since I enrolled during this semester for the next one, I still have time to pay the money that's due. So they let you and enroll. And if you don't? I haven't uh, gotten well, that far. But what happens if you don't? Do you know? I'm not sure. Talk to your advisor. Yeah, you probably you get dropped. I think you get dropped from them. Okay. Yeah. What were you making at your peak? A month in the sales job? Is that the job you're getting? So You're talking about working at Costco. Yeah. Uh, what's the Costco wage? So I believe it's 17? like 16, 17. 16. You're going to work. Is it one of those places that doesn't allow you to work more than like 30 hours a week? Um, no? I'm not sure. Because then they don't have to give health insurance. Ideally, so I, would, I, I would like to get a sales job um, just because. I would love you to get a sales job. That would yeah. be awesome. Um, I'm thinking about going to a dealership, but the problem with like dealerships and sales jobs is that they want a full-time employee to be making sales and they're yeah. not very lenient with school. I'd want you to work 50 hours a week minimum. Uh, actually that's a lie. I think I'm getting you because it's summer's only like two and a half months. I need you to work at the 16 bucks an hour if they allow you to, if not, you're getting two jobs, but you're 60 hours a week minimum, but you can do it. You're young. You can yeah, do 100%. it. Yeah, hundred percent. You don't need to see each other as much. So you guys are madly in love. So everything will be great. Right? Right? Yeah, I mean, if okay. it's for his budgeting, then for sure. Okay. So $960 a week. Times that by 52, divide that by 12. Uh, $4,000 a month before taxes. Say so you bring, let's say, about $3,250. Times that by two and a half months you work. That doesn't even fully pay off the tuition that you owe. So that's working $16 an hour for 60 hours a week minimum. You are in a funky position. The student loans, you've been approved, right? For next semester. Um, 2024, 2025. I don't want to borrow Peter, pay Paul type situation. But I'm like thinking, do we use some of that to pay off the tuition that you've already borrowed? But then it would just keep getting in a situation where we have to pay off the past tuition. Oh, f I'm not going to say this, am I? Oh, f no, I'm not. Oh, sh I'm nervous. Analyst is recommended. Something bad. Ah, f oh, I'm missing something. Leave good things. Brain thoughts in the comments below. This is interesting. This is a challenge, a fun little puzzle. I'm just trying. To, okay, there's actually lots of solutions. There are lots of solutions. Why I'm struggling to say any of them is because none of them are good. Um, so I'm trying to think of like the least bad solutions. <sighs> okay. So what you could do, and this doesn't even take into account your minimum monthly payments. So your minimum monthly payments are going to take, so let's say you make 8125 but then we also have to take away the 1500 and. Apple minimum monthly payments and the nine hundred and Bank of America payments over the course of that those two months. So that brings in five thousand dollars, which covers 
uh, five thousand seven hundred twenty-five dollars. Which that means you spent nothing on fun, by the way, not even a single cent. That means you spent nothing on gas, which is what impossible. if I got so that consolidated? We talked about that though. But what if I actually closed those accounts and didn't use those credit cards? Are you willing to close those accounts? My my main thing is I don't want my credit to. Oh, no 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 no. Look, who gives a sh about your credit right now? You're not taking advantage of credit. Credit's taking advantage of you. Also, were you on like your? Uh, were you? Are you? Are you on like your dad's credit a little? Were you on any of his cards or your mom's? Because no. I don't understand how your score is so high at your age with these balances. Your cards are maxed out. Do you have credit karma? No. Don't look credit karma real quick on your phone. Cause I don't. I don't believe you. Something's. F it's just what the like the my each of my bank apps have like a credit. Just score. Pull it. Let me see. Download Credit Karma. Set it up. I mean, maybe I, I, I don't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, y'all. This is the time to switch to my favorite high yield savings account. With SoFi, you can get four point six percent on your money. I hate when my money is just losing value. So make sure you're keeping up with inflation at the very least. You can also get FDIC insurance on that money up to two million dollars with them. Plus, they'll give you money up to $300 when you set up an account with them. There's even extra perks like being able to get paid a couple days early. SoFi is what I use when I'm setting money aside, and it is the banking app of the future. Sign up, link in the description below. I always want my money to be making more money, so don't lose money on yours. Personal loan, private student loan, I hate it, I don't want to recommend it, but we might be in the system, because you're going to, let's say you spent... Over the course of that month, the other 725 on gas. So let's say you have $5,000 net because you spent nothing other than on literal basic necessity. Do you have to buy your own groceries? Yeah. <gasps> Minus another $900 for those three months. Okay, $4,100. So half, less than half. What you might have to do, this harms me to every core of my being so that you can continue to enroll. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, you might have to take a uh, fall semester off. I was that was a that was an option. Yeah, you might have to take fall semester off, and you might have to grind all the way throughout the end of spring semester. I'd actually pull out of your summer class right now. I would grind complete. You nail this. I know you're cheating, but nail this semester all the crazy amount of credits you're taking. Then grind from now all the way to the beginning of next spring semester to pay off this past debt. And then yes, as much, uh, focus up, as much as possible, put it all towards the credit cards after paying off the past college debt. And then yes, student loans, hopefully 4% or so to pay for the remaining two semesters starting next spring. So you're doing uh, 2025 will be your final two semesters, 2025, spring and fall and summer if you can. Well, which you'll be doing on federal student loans. And you're grinding until then, making as much money as possible, keeping your needs to an absolute minimum. No more paid for dates. Are you okay for that? For a second. For a second. Yes, I'm okay with it. Okay. You can pay for things if you want to. It's 2024. You know. So you can cover a meal. She's been a real help, so. Good. Uh, yeah, because he's going to need some major support because he himself. Uh, so, yeah, you're grinding it out. You're paying off as much of the debt as you can. So, because, well, let's say, let's say $16 an hour. Let's say 60 hours a week, which is going to be wild. But if you can do that, that's absolutely awesome. For eight months, 30,000 bucks or so. You won't fully pay off your credit cards because of what you need to survive. But your credit card balances will be brought lower. Your student loans will be paid off. You'll be able to pay off the Apple card and the Bank of America card still might be there. But... You're gonna work a little during the next the the semesters where you're in school in 2025, and you're gonna use that to continue putting money towards the Bank of America. And then after you graduate college, you're gonna get a job in the career field you want in sales. You're obviously good at sales. You've been doing that for a while. I mean, 15,000 is wild. That is a good sign. And um, from there, you then pay off the Bank of America card as quick as possible after college. So now we're talking like beginning of 2026. And you save up a fully funded six month emergency fund. Then at that time you're twenty, you're twenty three, and you're putting twenty percent of whatever you make aside for retirement. You're actually going to be f killing it. You're going to retire very well. He has a bright future. He just needs to sacrifice now. Uh, so he's not a complete failure, and I don't fully hate him. 
Thank actually, you. I don't hate you at all anymore. Thank you. Actually, I, I see a bright future. So uh, it's been a roller coaster of a conversation. I see a path forward. It's a multi-year path. It's going to be long-term stuff. Go through our budgeting program as well so you can learn how to just manage money a little better. And we kind of walk you through things. We'll hold your hand, go through some education, take the class. Don't cheat. Don't cheat when you go through our class. I don't think you can. Can I ask a question? Please. Um. So you said to take fall and summer off. Yeah. But what if he already has fall and next spring paid off because he got financial aid for those? Well, the main... Well, because the reason I thought of that is because he literally has no way to pay for the past tuition unless, and this was what I was going to suggest before thinking of that, could take out a personal loan, private student loan to back pay whatever you can't pay after working your ass the summer, which might be like four or $5,000. It sucks. You can do it. That makes the burden harder post-graduation. He's going to be able to borrow some federal student loans. I would be willing to bet. If he took summer, fall off, work off. Yeah, because it's going to go off of tax returns and you're not going to have any like super crazy tax return by any means. But when you're starting to apply to borrow them at the end of this year for the beginning of next year. So I, I would still do that personally, just from a financial standpoint, because here's the thing. You're right. They're, that's a Band-Aid solution. But in the path I'm going, the dude by mid twenty three years old maybe 24 beginning he has a fully funded emergency fund no bad debt and his school is paid for and then he has some low interest rate student loans and the dude's able to start maxing out his retirement and he's living a great life over the course of the next two years i mean that's a, that's a win to me i'd rather do that because it leaves less risk in your life you're also just not great at school let's be real without the help of cheating let's be real without the help of uh that are not being taken legally let's be real so are you not giving it to him are you are you okay with um yes okay i don't think he's abusing it are you giving it to him no okay i hope you're not abusing it mm -mm. okay 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 i know a lot of a lot of people use it i'm just i don't take stimulants like that coffee is my go-to but uh, just because I have an addictive personality, so I know I would become dependent on something like that. I just don't want you to. And that's always my fear, especially since he has the dependency to f vaping. So it's not like it's completely But he hates him. himself when he's on a Okay. Okay. Yeah. So either way, you're not good at school. No. That's okay. I'm not good at school either. But what happens if you borrow this extra loan and then you go into more debt and we haven't taken any care of any credit cards? Because also, if he is taking out student loans, how is he paying for the credit cards, minimum monthly payments all throughout this next year anyway, if he doesn't start tackling it by taking some time off? So if you don't and you're just borrowing more and you haven't made any progress towards your debt and all of a sudden you don't make it through school, let's say, then all of a sudden you have all this debt and nothing to show for it. Where I think personally, just based on how people tend to operate mentally, if you take a couple semesters off the summer and fall get the burden off of you you'll be able to focus more in on school even if you're working just a few hours a week as well to make sure you're keeping up with minimum monthly payments on the bank of america at that time i think he has a higher chance of graduation at that point and i think he has a brighter future which means if you guys are going to be together i think you both have a better future as well so that's what i think sounds like a plan does it though? What do you think? Give me your full thoughts on that. Cause that was a lot. I mean, it makes sense to be honest. I was already thinking of taking the fall semester off, but really? okay. I wanted to, well, I didn't want to take it off, but it was an option to take it off yeah. due to the fact that I'm not going to be able to pay for the classes because you know, I don't have a job. Um, so I think I'll most likely end up doing that because I have to pay, I have to start paying or I'm gonna start missing payments um not late fees i'm gonna get you know straight up missed payments and i don't want that um yeah but i guess i'm not taking classes next next fall so you'll do this yeah do you think he'll do this yeah i think he's actually like more into work than studying so yeah I'm, I, I think that's i like working a lot work more well. i think i can work 60 hours a week i can't study or do classes 60 hours a week he needs a constant reward yeah i'm paying school to give me work i'm working to make money it's like i know the opposite how it works yeah but 
So if I could get, you know, like you said, the summer and fall off, make some money, um, not spend it, um, then I think it would be a lot better than, you know, just dragging myself through school and then, you know, just racking up even more debt and my credit would be trash. Well, make sure to stick around for the post show, everyone. It's as simple as this. I mean, you were you, your second score attempt was correct. I mean, you're nothing in every category, objectively. So, Hammer Financial Score is your out of 10. Make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below, as they are what I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet, which he f needs. Today on the Financial Audit Post Show. I'd still dig into you more about that, because it's... it's f you're not making anything now. You have bills that you can't pay. Your discipline is lacking when it comes to spending. Self-discipline is pretty bad. For me to not uh, spend money, I just stay home. Yeah. That's my tactic. To watch the financial audit post show, click the join button below.